Tag, and hello! I'm live from Dragonzeta Name, and I am so sorry that I haven't been uploading in the last two weeks. If you guys follow me on Twitter, then you already know that I have some massive ear problems. I actually thought I had damaged my ears because they were hurting so much. Turns out it was my sinuses, and that is now getting treated, so I am back at recording, and we will go back into Kingdom Come Deliverance, of course. Where, if you remember last time, Henry, the son of the Scarlet's blacksmith, fled his home village because there was a massive army that attacked and his parents got killed right in front of him, poor guy. And then he rode to Talmberg to warn the people, which is where we stopped the last time. I did one thing that I have to mention. I did uh, add the mod that I can save whenever I want to. I do that for Let's Play purposes mainly, also because I don't think that's the best system in general. I just like to be able to save whenever I want to and not when the game thinks I should be able to. That's just personal, personal preference. If you don't like that, I'm very sorry, but I will play it like this, saving whenever the heck I feel like um, I feel like saving. I also got a new mic, so if I sound different, then that's because of that. I do hope it sounds better than before. <laughs> it has a clip guard, which is awesome, so we'll see how that works out. But now we are back into Kingdom Come, and Henry was wounded last time. I remember that. Drunkenness. Alcohol begins to act gradually, giving you bonuses on speech, vitality, charisma and strength. Although if you overindulge, the after effects can be less pleasant. Did I drink alcohol? I think they just gave me some for my pain, but I don't remember. Do I talk to you, Sir Robard? You've done well, lad. Yes. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Okay, thanks. Where is the kitchen? I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horseshoes. Yeah, well... I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. Yeah, you took some guys with him, that's for sure. Before he went out. Ah, oh, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. We're getting Young the good Henry room. Here is overwhelmed by your generosity. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Thanks. I love how awkward Henry is. I'm guessing she's nobility then? When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Ooh. Okay, I want to eat and then grab everything that I can get a hold of. <laughs> to eat. Yeah, we are eating lentil mash. And let me go into my inventory. Uh, food. Where is it? And eat this. Oh, you're still very hungry. Can I? Can't I eat like out the pod? I can. And I'm just gonna do that. Can I take everything in here? Oh, there's a water can inside those You're plates. You're that lad from Skelets. I what am. What in heaven's name happened there? 
Uh, oh, hi. Can I talk to you? It was awful, random lady. They told Shrovna. Sure. It seemed like any other day. And then I saw thick smoke rising above the hamlet of Rovna. Soon Sigismund's army were finished there and came for us. The order to attack must have come even before the alarm bell rang. God preserve us. Why could I have failed that conversation? I don't understand. I fled to the castle, but my parents were killed. Yeah, well. We all ran towards the castle for shelter, but they were too fast for us. They slaughtered everyone they caught and torched their houses. I barely escaped and they... They killed... They murdered my parents. God bless you, boy. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Thank you. I don't know why you asked me about it, though, in the first place. I'm just going to steal every bit of food that is here. Because apparently I can. And I will not pass up that opportunity. Do you restock in the morning? And can I get more food then? Henry is overwhelmed by your charity generosity, I think he said. More cheese. I will be... Oh, that I have to steal. Okay, so I could only take the things on, on the table and not anything else. Fine by me. Okay, bye. I think I should go to sleep. Said in the bedchamber in the courtyard. I think I remember this vaguely. Yeah, right. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not supposed to be in here. But I can be in here. But he said I should take off my, uh, my boots. Should I do that? Should I just take them off? Ah, now I have unequipped them. Now I'm, my feet are naked. Hmm. Probably some animals. All right, let's go to sleep then, <laughs> without boots. Sleep! Poor Henry. Uh, how long? To, uh, okay, there are circles around this, so I, I'm guessing there's something that's going to happen. And I should be awake for that. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood. Yes, sir. You don't have very nice feet, Henry, I'm sorry to say. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Are you going to make me drunk? It's just what you need to help you sleep. Thanks. Lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. This is awkward. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. I did not want to be touched. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. I mean, sure, but could we do that without the touching? That was kind of weird. Aren't you like the lady of Sir Dip? What the hell happened? Where did I go? I just can't 
talk about or tell the story of the raid? I mean, we can't talk about... Where the hell did I go? What am I looking at here? You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. I think the game Father glitched. Father sent me into town on some errands. Uh, da, da, da. A fellow by the name of Kunish owed money to Father, who sent oh. me to collect it from him. Only Kunish had no intention of paying. <laughs> okay. Henry he has heated, often uh, money involved. teleported. Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. <laughs> when I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised oh, no. Father I'd help him with his work, and the I was game looking forward glitched. to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Um... Okay. Sure. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. She's so but interested in my was story. On the horizon, ready to attack the town. I saw smoke on the horizon from a village Sigismund pillaged on the way to our town, which was soon to meet the same fate. God have mercy. And then death descended on Scalitz. I don't even want to know what the options are if you fail this. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one cumin after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Mm. I wasn't safe yet. The Cumans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. They encircled the castle, and it was clear they could spot me at any moment. May God punish them. And they them. did. They shot you. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And, and then you fled. Even though it almost cost me my life. <laughs> After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. Well... I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. Oh, I teleported That's back. Terrible. Nice. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. 
We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from divisious friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. TMI, 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 TMI. Certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. Thanks, but you can leave the food. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good I'm night. not quite sure what I think about that exchange. That sounded a lot like desperate flirting. But I don't think we should screw around with the wife of the lord of this castle that we just fled to. Also, I don't know why the game glitched out like that. That was weird. <laughs> oh, now Henry's happy. Not what he said at all. He said to go back. Lies. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is the? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scallops. Okay, I need to put on my shoes first. Because I took them off like you said. Because I'm a good boy. Okay, put them back on. Go to the battlements. Take a torch from the table. From what table? From this table. If you need a light. Am I holding one? Oh! A nighthawk potion. I'm guessing that gives you night vision or something akin to night vision. Where do I need to go? I'm sure Sigismund ain't no fool. A backstabbing swine, maybe. But no fool. You're right there. Where is he? I think I'm right here. Am I? Oh, yeah. That's so divish. Hey, you men down there. Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, do you understand? That's not good. Sir Robert? What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scallops. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scallops to spy on Sigismund, 
said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle, and Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye. I guess will. so. May the Lord watch over you. Halt! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robert? Sir Ansig! What a relief! Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. <laughs> Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish? Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people too. These are dark times. Move out! Anywhere, people! Move out! Don't you make right there now! I don't know how likely I find that story that they could sneak out. Maybe he made some sort of deal with Sigismund. I don't remember from when I played that before. Honestly, don't. Alrighty. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? Sure. Can I go back to bed? Do I talk to you? Can I be of help? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements are with they? my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. <laughs> of course I'll help. 
I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Farewell. Okay, thank you. Alrighty, you guys. We made friends with the lady of the castle. I don't know if that is good or bad. Sir Razik and the people from Skullitz, the ones that are left at least, have escaped. And now we have to watch the battlements. I mean, I can't see anything down there. So I don't think anything will happen. But that is where I will leave this episode. Remember, if you want, an, uh, want to see a specific secondary quest that I should do, tell me about it in the comments down below. And I will do them on screen. Otherwise, I will do them off screen and just keep this to the main story like I said in the first installment of this series so if you like what I do comment like subscribe all that good stuff love you so much stay safe stay healthy bye bye und auf Wiedersehen